Hey guys, how's it going? It's Chris here, and in this video, we'll be talking about signed binary subtraction. First up, how does a computer actually see subtraction? Well, a computer sees subtraction as addition. Now, this might not make sense to us, but for a computer, it's easier to flip the two's complement number that's being subtracted into a negative number, then add the numbers. Don't worry if this seems a little bit weird, we'll make sense of it. A computer knows how to add, so instead of teaching it how to subtract, we can just invert the number that's being subtracted. By inverting, we mean that a positive binary number, e.g. 110, becomes negative, minus 110. Then the computer performs binary addition. So first of all, let's look at how we invert numbers in two's complement. Suppose we had 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. This is 22 in decimal. We need to make this minus 22. Let's go through the quickest way to do this. In order for a binary number to be signed, which means it can be positive or negative, we need to have a negative column, right? Remember, the way two's complement does this is by making the most significant bit, i.e. the bit furthest to the left, negative. So 128 becomes minus 128. We can now use this minus 128 column to make a negative number. Now that we have our twos complement headers, we need to invert the zeros and ones. Let's go ahead and do that. To convert it to a twos complement negative number, we do the following. We read the number from right to left until we reach the first one. Then flip all the digits to the left of this one. The zeros become ones and the ones become zeros. Let's go ahead and do that. Starting from the least significant bit, i.e. the bit further to the right, we have zero. This means we can carry on reading because it's not a one. We'll now move to the left. And now that we've reached our first one, we will simply flip the rest of the digits to the left of it. This means that all of these bits will be flipped. So we swap ones for zeros and zeros for ones. And we get this. One, 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 zero, one, zero, one, zero. We can check this is minus 22 by doing minus 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 8 plus 2, which you'll find adds up to minus 22. Great. So we can now invert binary numbers. Let's go through a subtraction example now. Let's have 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 minus 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Our first step is to look at the second number and apply the inversion we just learned. Let's go ahead and do that. Starting from the least significant bit, i.e. the most right bit, we have one. Now that we've reached our first one and the rest of the bits to the left of it will all be flipped. So we'll swap ones for zeros and zeros for ones and we'll get one, 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 zero, one, zero, zero, one. So that's the first step done. Now we have inverted the subtracted number, our initial equation becomes 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, plus 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Now all we have to do is add these together to get our result. 1 plus 1 is 0, carry 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 0, carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 0, carry 1 again. 1 plus 1 is 0, carry 1 again. If you ever have a 1 left over, like we do in this example, just discard it and leave it alone. So our final answer is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Therefore, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, minus 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1 is the same as 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, plus 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, which equals 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Thanks for watching. Let's have a quick recap. 
When we subtract, we need to invert the number being subtracted, apply the trick we learned that allows us to do this, perform binaries addition on the two numbers, 